profile today in the crash that killed a man. He was rushing to see his mother who had been hit by a car. She also died. Jermont Terry live at the courthouse with the latest Jermont. Mike and Carol, the events of this mother and son dying in two separate accidents are tragic, but prosecutors say their deaths are criminal because they believe alcohol played a factor in both of them. Your Honor, Mr. Hughes appears in person. Xavier Hughes walked into a Milwaukee courtroom one Wednesday. The 21-year-old is charged in this deadly crash, which killed his friend, Thomas Olson. I know the defendant is charged with multiple felony counts. His exposure is significant if convicted. Hughes faces three separate counts, including homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle. Police say Hughes, despite being drunk, tried driving Olsen and two others to a hospital in West Allis. Olsen had just received word his mother, Mary Moore, was injured in a car accident while crossing the road at South 81st Street. But the son did not know his mother was already dead. A criminal complaint says Hughes was speeding, doing 90 when he lost control. Olsen's sister told me over the phone she did not think Hughes should face charges because he was only trying to help out. But the investigation shows he was drunk and never should have been behind the wheel. Olsen's fiance says the loss of this mother and son is just too much at one time. It just hit every, everybody hard and saying goodbye is so much harder because he was a good person. Now, Hughes remains behind bars tonight on a $50,000 cash bond. As for the man who ran over the mother, he is arrested but has not been officially charged yet. Prosecutors believe that he, too, was intoxicated. On your side, outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. Yeah, doubly tragic. Thank you, Jermont.